We want to begin by saying to you that where you are is just fine. We don't want to give you the impression that we think you should be someplace that you are not. We want you instead to feel satisfied with where you are and eager to move toward the improvement that your own life has helped you to carve out. As I'm learning this, I almost feel like I'm afraid to be sad. Like when negative emotion comes, instead of before where I didn't know I'd let it run its course, now there's like this, I can't be sad, I can't be sad, I can't be sad. Everything else in my life seeming to come together and I've tried not paying attention to it and it continues to deteriorate. I'm talking about weight in particular, but it still seemed to be gaining. We have a six-year-old son. He's been diagnosed as moderate to severely autistic. Did he intend to come into this experience the way he is? I recently went through a breakup and I've got issues. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm ready to talk about some of that. <laughs> Do people and animals choose, perhaps before they're born, the time that they will depart? Or as they go along, do they just go, oh, okay, today's a good day? As I learn this, I run into people, family members, friends. So many times I want to share with people, and there's negative. My next question is about birth. It seems harder on the baby when there's all these drugs involved or certain medical teams need to do things to the child that look a little rough. And I'm wondering, is that the choice of both the baby and the mother or is it all just coming from the baby, how the birth happens? When a person makes the conscious, deliberate decision to bring an immediate end to their physical experience through suicide, is that a response to the call of source? Did we all get together as source and decide that this law of attraction would be a good idea, or is law of attraction a trait of source? This chair does sizzle. <laughs>